saved it to his uh, 2000 HP but we've instantly used our special attack in the first hit and taken a quarter of that off. Not bad for a start. And it did 666 damage. I think the Demon King always does 666 damage. Oh, and uh, yeah, and as you can see here, we had, um, the Demon King hit us and then um, it dodged our attack and then counter attacked, so um, instantly it did um, 662 damage times 2 um, on us. So yeah, we can't take 1,500 odds damage, so it killed us. At least we'll get some more experience killing these guys again. Um, the Demon King won't heal, so um, that's good for us. Since we didn't kill it, um, we'll only really need to finish it off. Since we're a lot stronger than we were the first time we went through here, um, these things aren't really much of a challenge now. Well, I wouldn't say they're not much of a challenge, but um, even their special attack twice in a row won't kill us, so that means that unless I slip up, there's no way the, these things can kill me. Um, but another good thing about this game is you don't need to log in to play. If you don't play, it will name you guest, blah 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 blah, blah uh, some random numbers. So if you like this game, uh, feel free to download and play it, I really appreciate it. It has only got about 125 odd plays since uh, Beyond isn't really a big site and I didn't advertise the game or anything. Um, the annoying thing was I had to pay for membership, a year's membership just to upload the game, so I actually waited about a quarter of a year before I even uploaded the game. <laughs> um, it's kind of annoying because you spend ages making the game and then it's like pay twenty pounds to upload your own game. <laughs> okay, and now we're already back here. Um, a few more kills and we'll be level seventeen. Now that I think about it, I think it's level 10 you need to beat Freyaza, and um, level 16 to beat Steaming King. I got mixed up. Memory. I think the lowest level I beat Steaming King at has been um, 15 though, but I think I died quite a few times. for a level up so oh come on we need like 10 more experience or something. Well, let's go for this one before one of these two recovers. Just to play it safe because it would be annoying if the Demon King killed us or something and uh, we had to run all the way back here and kill them all again. And now we're level 17, our strength level is 26, um, base strength hit is 20, 227, um, defense level is 17, meditation level is 17, maximum health is, uh, well, yeah. Oh, and 
this one's recovered, so let's run past this one before it recovers. Phew, close one. And we're going to play it safe here. Okay, and safe was not enough. The Demon King dodged our attack and counter-attacked again. And the Demon King has 602 health remaining. Um, the dodge system is a real bitch. Um, I added the dodge system to make the game less predictable, so that even if you knew the enemy's special attack power, um, there was still a chance that it could dodge your attack, hit you and hit you again, so um, you always had to have more than um, double its special attack power to be sure that it wouldn't one hit you. Um, but yeah. This is the first RPG I've made in any site, so... In retrospect, there was a few things I could have done to make the game a lot less bull. <laughs> okay. And apparently we don't have enough health to uh, instant kill a sand bull yet. Or a wind ball, sorry. Just try and get to level 18 before we face the Demon King again. Well, we're not going to get an, an awful lot of experience from these things, so let's just train at the boss's lair. On the bright side, at least these things can't kill us now. Even if they use two special attacks in a row, um, we still have more than um, 1,400 HP. Or at least I think we do. Attack does a bit half as much as its attacks do, but at least we can heal. And we have a sword. Another thing I would have done if I spent more time in the game is add like stat effects for like weapons, like um, fire sword as a burn effect or something like that, and the enemies can actually poison you and stuff like that. And add potions, but you can unpoison, kind of like Pokemon. Uh, but RPGs are really big games, and even for something as simple as this, it <laughs> took a week for me to make so Levels, uh, level up systems, experience, items, shops, weapons, stuff like that. Um, for one person, it's annoying. Even the graphics are dicky just to draw all the sprites. Although the sprite drawing was um, probably the funnest part of the entire thing. Um, not the most rewarding, but the funnest. Just drawing the little weapons and stuff. I think we'll just skip the level up and uh, just try and beat the Demon King before he kills us. Picking up 
up all the coins. We have 700 odd coins now. I should mean we could buy any more weapons, we could buy a ton load more uh, iron swords, um, loads of steel swords, or we could buy say, more elemental swords, but um, dual wielding would be pretty cool. Um, I wish I had made it so that you could um, use any elemental weapon, um, maybe dual wield with overlays and um, make your own elements do more damage or something, but on the other hand, uh, everyone would use their own element if it did more damage, so that would make the whole thing pointless. Um, but giving the user op the option of doing pointless things is part of the fun of RPGs, so that counterbalances it. That one took ages to beat. Unless if it bad luck of draws with the randomizers. Um, okay, healing prayer. If I remember correctly, I think the, um, the healing altar actually heals you past your max health. Um, so, we'll keep going back to that. Oh, and we have finished the Demon King, so let's just finish it off here. <coughs> Killed it. Congratulations on completing Demon World Final Spell and showing the Demon King who is boss. Fraz has defeated boss Demon King. Fraz has defeated Demon King. You have gained 250 experience from your fight with Demon King. Um, so yeah, a nice rewarding message there telling that you've completed the game. Um, so yeah. We completed the game at level 17 with 1026 out of 1313 experience. Um, but just to really finish it off, let's leave the cave and uh, get one more level. Um, if you've watched Naruto, you know that Shadow Neckbind is an attack used by um, Shikamaru Nara, um, who is um, in a clan, well, in the Nara clan, which is the second name. Um, the Nara clan specializes in shadow techniques, and one of their strongest techniques is um, Shadow Neckbind. Um, I could have went with Shadow Stitching instead, but Shadow Neckbind sounds more demon like. And these things are just easy enough. No challenge at all. We can even risk two attacks without dying, but just in case it dodges and counter attacks with two specials or something, let's just uh, play it safe. And now we are level 18, strength set 27, base strength hit is 239, strength um, de defense level is 18, meditation level is 18, maximum health is 1355, and our base special attack is 294. Not bad, not bad at all. I think every time I've ever played through the entire game, um, I have uh, made sure to leave the Demon King's lair. <laughs> um, I don't know why, it's just a habit of mine to leave the enemy boss's lair before I quit the game. Hmm. And we have left the lair. a heck load of gold. Um, so we're level 18 with 216 experience out of 1,907 experience. <laughs> That's a heck load of experience. Um, now that I remember it, I made it so that it'd be pretty much impossible to uh, 
well, it wouldn't be, but it was impossible, but it would have been um, pretty hard to uh, get past level 20, because um, the game is supposed to be like um, completed within like the first 20 levels. Um, since you can't save the game, I didn't want people like wasting loads of time getting to level 50 before realising that it didn't save. Um, so yeah. That's why I made it get significantly harder, but not so hard that it would become impossible to defeat the Demon King. Um, so yeah, that is Demon World Final Spell, a game created by me in 2010 using Dream Maker and uploaded on Beyond.com. Um, so yeah, be sure to check it out, it's completely free um, and Beyond, of course, has no viruses. Dream Maker has no viruses and uh, if you're interested in programming, then be sure to check it beyond. Um, it's good for uh, levelling up yourself in uh, programming and in graphics design. Um, so yeah, the experience is invaluable. Um, well, thanks for watching again. Please uh, comment, uh, like the videos, and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you want, of course. Um, well, goodbye.